Um, today I want to show you one of my best eyepieces. It's a well-kept secret in the Astronomical Society. You don't hear much about it. But uh, you can have an eyepiece which uh, is as good or even better than a Teleview at a fraction of the price of a Teleview. It's called, it's, this is a Skywatcher. The old name of a Skywatcher, and they are selling it under this name sometimes. If you buy it from eBay, it's called Helios also. Helios is the old name, Chinese name of that company. It's a Skywatcher or Helios Nirvana 60mm. There is a 10 and 7mm of this, I think and 22 millimeter it is small compared to many other eyepieces but it has a mighty value and comfort this is a 82 degrees eyepiece Which means the image you will see uh, will be the more the edge of the field will be really thin, the body of the eyepiece, and you are almost as if you are not. There is nothing between you and the object. I've tested it with many objects in the night sky. Saturn was beautiful with it, and. Uh, other objects, really good planetary. Um, I may get the seven millimeter one, but this one is quite lightweight, probably around 200 grams. I will measure the weight later. And uh, just to show in the daylight how it will work, I just put it in this uh, Skywatcher Pro Series ATED Aphrochromatic Telescope. Uh, I'll put it now in the telescope focuser and let's look at it I've not seen anything as good as this anywhere so let's look as you can see the field of view is very wide I've not zoomed in the image or anything of course it's not the best lighting condition as you can see It's quite cloudy, it's raining also. When I observe it, this, uh, my eyes absolutely have no stress. I change to another eyepiece, my eyes go stress, the muscles. Then I change it back, the muscles relax. When I'm observing with this eyepiece. So it's absolutely perfect eyepiece for my eye. Anyway, I was doing some work in the allotment uh, and planting a lot of garlic and I'm a little bit tired. My hand probably was not very steady as it should be. But this is a lovely, loveliest eyepiece I have. The only thing nagging probably I can tell about the eyepiece. Let me just tell one point. Uh, when I observed the Saturn with this, I felt that it gives me more yellowish color than the other eyepieces. Is it in something, I mean, they call it a vintage look. Is it because of the tape of the coating or whatever it is? I'm not sure. Uh, you can buy it with the, under the brand of the OLV, I think, or TS, or most probably William Optics, but William Optics ones are really expensive. The same, but more expensive. This one is really good, and uh, 60 millimeter, 7mm also is very good. I'm going to try it. I've read some good reviews about it. Let me just get that one also. Uh, so far so good with this. Uh, and uh, yeah, the vintage look, the only thing that I can say is that uh, slightly tinge of uh, yellow you can see in the image. Slight tinging, not much. So good eyepiece in general and it's definitely something uh, 
And because it's light, it doesn't change the balance of the telescope, doesn't put too much stress on it. Okay, I've shown you this uh, Nirvana 16 millimeter one. I now have the Skywatcher super wide angle fully multi coated 70 degrees, uh, 17 millimeter eyepiece. I give it a go just to see how it looks in the same condition. Just for the sake of comparison. Just one millimeter difference between the uh, focal lens of these two eyepieces. It has a bigger lens and more comfortable actually to see. And it is on a two inch focuser, but it can be also installed on the one and a quarter inch one. I'm now back to the Nirvana 16 millimeter. Eighty two degrees. And I'm going to look at it at the subject again the same way. And this is Nirvana again. You decide which one is best. So we have two eyepieces, just one millimeter difference and one quite lighter than the other one. This one is around 400 grams, this one around probably 170 grams or even less, 150. I will measure the weights and uh, show you.